Welcome to your review channel. Appreciate you tuning into this one. So you have Xfinity and you're sick of paying that $14 a month rental fee? Well, I think I have a solution for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let's get into the video. So one of the solutions I have for you that I picked up myself because I was tired of, tired of paying that $14 a month rental fee, which is driving me bananas. So I picked up this Surfboard um, Dark SIS 3.1 cable modem, and this thing is awesome. Let's get into it. And I don't know, but this is totally compatible with Comcast. That's all I cared about. It was a couple hundred bucks, like 230 bucks. I'll leave a link down below where you can uh, pick up yours and save yourself that rental fee, which is ridiculous. There's a couple things you have to do to set it up. I'm gonna go over it with you. It's pretty easy, but I, want, I know if you get a little nervous, watch the video, it's really, really simple. So this is the front of it, very, very simple. And here's the back. So if they have, um, so it has two ethernet ports and it has two telephone ports. So if you have two lines or one line that has the phone line, which is important, most modems don't have the phone line. And this is compatible with Xfinity. It is certified. So this does work. I'm using it. It works perfectly. So the main thing you have to do is when you first get it, when you set it up, first thing you have to do when you first plug it in is let it boot up and let it con connect the cable in the back of the modem and let it go through its cycle. It's gonna download some firmware, it's gonna just do its thing. Be patient, let it do its thing until all the three lights are uh, lit up solid. The power, the US the DS, you did upload and download light and the online light, those all will become solid. Don't worry about the telephone one as, as much. Once those are solid, you go into the setup mode. Real simple how to do that. So the one thing you wanna do is just make sure you have it hooked up to a computer. So once the three lights are solid, and then you hook it up directly into your computer and then you type in xfinity.com slash activate. That's all you have to do. It'll walk you right through the next step. So you see here, this is the screenshot of what you will receive. So you can either type in your mobile number or your Xfinity ID and password. I found the easiest way is just use your mobile phone number. If it is on file with Xfinity, it's super simple. You just have them text you a confirmation number you type in the confirmation number, and then basically it sets it up and gets you rocking and rolling very, very quickly. Within minutes, it's pretty much activated. Hey guys, just wanna take this moment to thank you very much for watching my video. Hope you're enjoying this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. It does help my channel quite a bit. All right, back to the video. So this is what you're going to see. Once you set up your information into that last screen you saw, once you get the text sent over, it's going to say you're all set. It's going to say your gateway or modem should be online in less than 30 minutes. Once you see your Wi-Fi signal appears in the list and so forth, it does not take 30 minutes. So at this point, your modem will shut down and basically reboot. At that point, once all the lights are solid, then at that point, you can hook up your router. Do not put the router in yet. Wait till everything is installed and wait till everything is ready. At that point, you hook it up to the router with a new IP address and it's all refreshed. And then your router will work and your internet will work. And speeds are fantastic, up to one gigabyte of download. download. I'm gonna show you some of my speeds that I received. So here's a download speed on my mobile device. Um, it is running around 350 megabytes per second of download speed. That is wicked fast. I mean, I've seen speeds as high as 400. Um, when you plug it in directly into your computer, you're getting, um, at least with my service, I'm getting over 600 megabytes of download speed, and I'll show you that in a minute. Upload speeds are a little bit slower at Comcast. I'm not really quite up there, but 20 megs up is actually pretty quick uh, for the service that I am paying for. You can pay more and get faster service if you want. Uh, this service works well for me. It's not a problem whatsoever. Um, so that's really a great, I think it's a great uh, service in general. I mean, I love Comcast and I think their quality and service is excellent. Let me show you my regular download speed for plugged in. Okay, so here you can see right here the download speeds was 653 megs down, 14.6 up. Again, that does fluctuate depending on how heavy the usage is out there and you know, on the lines and so forth. But like I said, you can't go wrong. So this is super simple. If you have any questions or any comments, if you're having some trouble, let me know. Leave me a qu uh, some comments and questions down below. If I can help you, I will definitely reach out to you right away. Uh, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. It does help support me and keep me doing what I'm doing. So I hope I taught you and I hope I gave you some confidence, really, how to buy your own modem, how to set it up. It's really simple, simple, super simple. There's no need to pay that $14 a month. That's like 160 bucks a year. It's ridiculous, and plus the taxes. It's just, you know, within a year and a half, you paid for the modem yourself. So go out, buy your own modem, set it up, 
don't be afraid. There's really no videos about this one at all. I couldn't find, so I wanted to make a video and just show you how super, super simple it was to do. All right, guys, that's it for me. I hope you learned how to do that, and I appreciate your time. And don't forget, I'll see you at the next review.